Hello ladies and gentlemen. This video is meant to provide you with an overview of your writing choice board learning opportunity. This video will act as an overview of the assignment and will provide you with a description of the seven stages you will pass through as you complete the activity of your choice. Just like you would with any new assignment, the first thing you should do is read a description that is provided to you. In order to do this, you will first need to open up the shared document titled Writing Choice Board Learning Opportunities. Just like you would with any new assignment, the first thing you should do is read the description that is provided to you to get a better understanding of what is being asked, an overview. In order to do this, you will first need to open up the shared document titled Writing Choice Board Learning Opportunities. Once here, you will discover that there are general directions provided at the top of the document. These directions will provide you with a breakdown of what is to expect during each of the seven stages. This overview tells you that within each stage, you'll be given a description, your task, and you'll be told in an approximate length of time to complete. This is meant to guide you through the stages. Make sure that you complete each of your tasks before proceeding on to the next stage. The first stage you will encounter is Engage. The Engage is meant to capture your attention as a student, to inspire your curiosity, and to build the excitement of what is to come. The second stage is the Explore stage. It is designed to have students explore the lesson topic in more detail. The resources shared here, articles and videos, will hopefully entice you into learning, to feed your curiosity, and to encourage you to dive into the rabbit hole available at the end of your fingertips. While the task will vary in the Explorer stage from assignment to assignment, you are using this time in the Explorer stage to deepen your understanding of the top topic area. You may be tasked with taking notes, such as you are with this particular assignment, or in future, creating a list of bookmarks for additional resources, or even creating a YouTube playlist of instructional videos. The third stage is the explain stage. This is designed to inform students of what I want you to learn. Here you will find guiding questions. What does an engaging piece of writing look like? What literary features and forms of text and media can be used to show the purpose and the message in the writing? These guiding questions should jumpstart your brainstorming about creative and informal writing for this particular task. The explain stage is also where you will find the task itself. For this particular assignment, you will click on the hyperlink of the Writing Choice Board Learning Opportunities. This will take you down to lower in the page to the Writing Choice Board itself. This is the Writing Choice Board. Here you'll notice that there are what to do is underlined. This is because there are hyperlinks. By clicking on one of these hyperlinks, you'll see that it will take you to a description of that particular assignment. Within each of these hyperlinks is your Google Slides, and within each of these Google Slides is the outline details of what is expected of you for that particular assignment. Whether it is to write a creative story, whether it's to write a creative story, to create and write daily blogs, to learn something new, or even just to write a letter to a friend or a family member and send it off by snail mail every day. Yes, I did say snail mail. After looking at and examining each of these nine learning opportunities, what you will do is you will then move on to the apply stage. This is the apply stage. This is where you will make the decision of which writing activity you want to complete. This is where you'll be creating your product. You'll be completing your writing. There are a few things to complete during this stage for the Writing Choice Board assignment. You'll first need to start off by going ahead and completing the Google form for setting writing goals. This is meant to be your driving force for your personal learning experience in this learning opportunity. Afterwards, once you start your writing, you're going to move ahead and you're going to, at the end of each day, you're going to click on this hyperlink and you'll complete a Google form where you'll have your daily reflections, what you were particularly happy about with your work ethic for this day, what's something that you want to work on and to improve on for the next day. 
At the end of the task, and at, after you've completed all of your writing, what you're going to do is you're going to turn in your work through Google Classroom. Make sure to use your writing choice board individual work submission document that's provided to you yourself. This is not a shared document. And just to be clear, for this particular assignment, you would be expecting to have 20 to 30 minutes spent on it each day in order for it to be completed by the provided deadline. Now that the hard work is done, you should be proud of what you've achieved, what you've written. So let's move on to the share stage. Here you are encouraged to share your writing with your peers. You can do this by entering in your information into the shared Google document that's titled Class Sharing. This will allow everyone to see what you've done, to share in each other's strengths, and to give praise, to comment, and to share not only your work, but your learning opportunities and what you've done, to provide positive, constructive feedback. Not to worry, I know some of you aren't particularly keen on sharing with your peers. That's okay, I expect that. I do, however, encourage it, but I will not require it. Now on to the reflection stage. Here it's meant to be a place for you to reflect on your personal learning, to evaluate your work and to identify your strengths and your weaknesses, to look inside you and to see if there's anything else that you think that you can do differently next time. Would you do it the same? What's something that you want to improve? What's something that you're proud about? What's something that you want me to notice about your assignment? You'll do this and complete this reflection by completing the Google form found at this link. Lastly, there's the extend stage. While the stage is not required now that you're done officially, you may want to continue your learning. This stage is meant to encourage that. Ultimately, students should use the seven stages, engage, explore, explain, apply, share, reflect, and extend as a guide to your learning experience. Within each stage, students should complete the listed task and use the approximate length of time provided as a guideline to complete it. Go through your writing choice board learning opportunity document. Click explore. This is a new way of learning and it will take some time to get used to. Be brave, try something new, support one another. You have this. Now, let's write.